Happy Wednesday. We're glad to see you again. We're ready to worship the Lord, so just clear out your living rooms, get ready. We have a special thing tonight, really special for me. It's a treat. Instead of me leading worship, Norm Jr. is going to lead worship. It's going to be good, so get ready to go in. All right, let's do it. Oh, we worship your name, Lord Jesus. Praise your name, Father God. I encourage you wherever you are. To stand up, close your eyes, lift up your hands, and worship the King of Kings. Invite him into your home and worship with us tonight, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Forever you are there. 
Sometimes at home, it's just you and I, Father God. No one around to worship for us, Lord Jesus, just you and I. And I don't want anybody else to be responsible for my worship because they can't, Lord Jesus. So I'll lift up my voice to you, Lord Jesus. This is my worship to you, Father God. Receive it. Just ask God to receive your worship wherever you are. Receive my worship, Lord Jesus. Give us a reminder that you're still there, Father God. We need you now more than ever, Lord Jesus. You, Lord, you are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. For
Good evening. I know that as you were at home and you lifted your hands and you maybe even stood up out of that chair that you were sitting in and you engaged, you could feel the same anointing that we feel here in the church. You know, every time we broadcast to you, our prayer is that you will feel the same anointing. You will feel the same spirit of God that you feel in the sanctuary when we're worshiping. And as you engage in that with Pastor Steve, amazing things begin to happen. When we begin to preach the word of God, you'll feel the anointing of the word working on you. And all you've got to do is engage and join with us. I know Pastor Steve is really anointed in worship, and so when you join with him and lift your hands and praise and worship God at home, the Spirit of God will meet you exactly like he does when we're all gathered together. I want you to know we do miss you. We can't wait till we all get back. But in the meantime, we're coming to you every Wednesday night, either by Connect, where Helen and I share from our home, or from the sanctuary here at New Life. And today I have a special guest with us. He is the wild and crazy youth pastor. He is the roaming man of God. Would you please welcome our own youth pastor, Pastor Tito Zamat. How you doing, Pastor Tito? It's a blessing to be here, uh, to be in the presence of uh, the Lord, to uh, uh, 
be here on this live stream uh, service, even though the circumstances, situations that are, are handed to us, but we're still pressing forward. Praise God. You know, uh, right now the teens have this, what is it, a dance thing? Well, I, I put it on um, just just to lighten up our spirits a little bit. It's the, the teen, teen challenge thing. So uh, my daughter was challenging me with um, some Kirk Franklin uh, worship song. So she put me on the spot. I said, Dad, let's do a dance together. Let's lighten it up a little bit and let some laughter. So uh, after a couple takes of doing it, because I was a little rusty. <laughs> Uh, but you got your moves back. But I right? got my moves back. Okay, well, show us a little <laughs> bit of the moves. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> so you know, you you have uh, you have three children and, and your wife Marilyn. Yes. And you're all cooped up in the house, except you're working still, correct? Actually, I'm. I'm I thank the Lord, I am working. Uh, my wife is also, but she's. Uh, they have her three days at the job, and then two days working from home. Home, but. Yes. Uh, Tito is also a corrections officer with the youth, right? Well, actually, I, I was in uniform, but I transitioned out. Now what I do is I do uh, with the Restore Justice. So we facilitate the victim impact class, which we will go to different units. Um, and we uh, actually just teach on what a victim, a crime victim uh, experiences, the impacts of what they go through. And also we do the Speakers Bureau component of the job, which we go to and, and speak to, to, to the teens and we develop their story so they can go out and also share uh, from the time they were um, from kids up to their teenage and then they would uh, just speak to the audience. It could be schools, it can be adults, wherever um, we take them to. Now all your children are out of school right now. How are they coping with this thing? Wow, uh, uh, to be honest, it's, it's, it can be tough. Um, you know, kids are like Energizer Bunny. It's just like the commercial. They don't stop, uh, especially my son Isaac. He can be a little electric, but, you know, um, just, you know, it's, it's, it's totally different, uh, you know, setting up laptops um, in our kitchen table uh, so they can buckle down and, and do their schoolwork. And, uh, but I, I'm thankful for my teenager at home because uh, she, is, uh, her, she inspires to be a teacher. Uh, so it's, she's getting her feet wet with, with, with the two little ones, and uh, so we're blessed. Hey Amen. She should be doing the homeschooling for them. Well, she's pretty much helping her out in, in, you know, with their maps, uh, English, uh, and some other things, artwork. And, uh, but, you know, uh, my middle one, Isabella, she's very gifted in, in art, and I've shared a few pictures on, on Facebook, and you also encourage her to uh, some uh, other things that you've done in your, in your past or still does in your in your time, but she's been, for her, that's something that she loves, she's passionate about, and um, so she blesses us, look, Dad, look what I just, you know, what I draw, and, oh. and she, it, she blows us away. Praise God. Bella uh, has been special to me for a long time, so I know you probably got her watching tonight, so let me give her the, Bella, <laughs> hi, Bella. Uh, uh, Nissy, uh, I could see Nissy becoming a teacher. That, you know, I, I, she has the demeanor and, and the, the drive for that. Well, um, it's, you know, when we, first, uh, when we first came to New Life and we walked through these doors and we knew right there and then, and um, little Jim, I mean, uh, Miss Keller at the time, yeah. uh, rest, rest in soul, uh, she's, she made us feel like we were home, and we, we've been now going close to 12 years at New Life. And I remember um, when she was younger, you, you spoke a word to her, even when she was up here on the altar, and she was worshiping, and, and also that she was going to be a, a, a lead, a teacher. And sure enough, um, now she's plugged in back here in the nursery, helping out with the younger kids now. Now uh, she's also working with PIA with Pastor Ricky and Josie. Uh, now she's teaching, leading the kids also. So I believe that, you know, um, once she graduates and furthers her education to go to college, she wants to uh, become an elementary teacher. So, you know, I've been truly blessed that I said, look, these things that you're, you, you, God has placed in your hands, take hold of it, do it with joy. And, and one of the things I tell all our teens, Whatever you do in life, do it with joy. Um, whatever God leads you to, any of your um, goals, anything, dreams that you want to accomplish, 
placed in the Lord's hands. Amen. Uh, pastor Tito deals with all of our teens here. He's a, you know, the youth pastor. Uh, and he has some challenging experiences with the teens from time to time. But one of the interesting things is he has gotten a lot of our teens to do an inner circle for the teen generation. We do one every week. Uh, there's the staff pastors every Monday through Friday. There's an inner circle uh, that is coming alive for you so you can watch that. But I've noticed lately some of the teens, they're really coming along with some good words. Well, um, <clears throat> When, when Pastor Wayne, when we, we had our pastoral meeting, Pastor Wayne had came up with this idea with the New Life Inner Circle. And you told Pastor Wayne, all right, you run with it. And sure enough, um, I mean, it's been truly a blessing. So I kind of took the idea and said, you know what? Why not our teens? Our teens today, they are the next leaders, the next, the next generation. So I said, you know, um, let's plug them. They also have a voice for the Lord. Um, they also have gifts. Uh, so I, I was moved in my heart. I got prompted in my heart to say, okay, let me reach out to some of the parents and make sure it's okay to run it by them first. Um, so, so sure enough, the parents said, oh, yeah, uh, great. So the kids were uh, very engaged. They started participating. Uh, they, they, they started sharing their gifts. I mean, I mean uh, just a word of encouragement to one another, even to those, even to adults. So... I just felt like the Lord just saying, you know, um, use my children. Mm. Use my children, you know. And, and I have a verse here uh, in ch uh, 1 Timothy uh, chapter 4, 12. And it reads, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Uh, I, live, I live and die by this um, verse here for our youth. Because I believe, you know, they are our next leaders. Um, God has placed gifts in them. Uh, we have the Naraja and her sister. They love to sing and worship. Um, we have um, Jada, that's another leader that we've had that came in six years. I've been actually now working with the youth here eight years, a couple years as a, just as an assistant, being faithful, and then now going on six years as a youth pastor and I tell you what, not only that those doors those kids walk through, but I consider, I consider them my spiritual kids. I've been even an, an honor to, uh, be, when we became a chaplain, a police chaplain, mm. I've even used some of our kids as, uh, uh, that have come off the streets to invite them, without forcing them, but just to invite them to come on into youth group. And they've truly been a blessing. If they stay there, awesome. Even if they get some kind of word, some kind of encouragement, and maybe they don't come back. But, you know, I've had some also that have reached out. And, hey, thank you for being there uh, and, and just being appreciated. You know, that's a great verse. Why don't you look at the teens right now and, and talk to them. Give them an encouraging word. Well, I just want to share with you guys um, today, uh, I just want to tell you that God loves you so much. And he loves, he loves you unconditionally. And his love is never will fail you. His love is always unconditional. You young people, you may not think you have purpose. You may not think you have value, but you do have purpose and value. You, you're, you're a children of God. Um, you don't always have to be holding the microphone. There's other gifts that you can do. We have our teens even here. Some do the camera. Some work in the nursery. Some do all kinds of things that you can always plug in. But you have a gift. Never stop your dreams from going forward in life. Uh, you know, set, set goals. Take a journal. Write things that you want to accomplish and want to do in your life. And trust me when I tell you, God will never leave you nor forsake you. He will always be a lamp to your feet in everything you do. So I just want to encourage you to keep going forward and keep pressing forward. Be obedient to your parents because one of the commandments is to honor your father and your mother if you want your days to go longer. So that's one thing. And also continue to get in your word, read scripture, um, even take five minutes out of your day to pray and just to thank the Lord. If you don't even know how to pray, act like you're just like you're talking to your best friend. That's the way the Lord wants you to communicate with him. Don't have to be fancy words, fancy prayers. Have that dialogue with him, you and him, and just say, Lord, I place everything in your hands. 
I hope that word encouraged you today. Amen. You know, I, I, so many times I think we, we negate what God wants to do through our young people. Amen. You know, and in the world they get classified as, oh, when you get older, we'll use them. But you know, some of the greatest men in the Bible, David and so, they started it as teenagers. Yes. You know, God touched them when they were young. Yes. And God can touch our children today and they can affect the world. Yes. And perfect example, and I'm going to use your grandson, for mm -hmm. example. I remember when he first started coming to youth, and Ryan was very shy. Uh, didn't talk too much. He kind of came in. He observed, and it was like pulling teeth sometimes to have him speak. And as now years have went by, and I've watched him grow to become the, the, the young man he is now, um, and just he blessed my heart uh, when he uh, preached up here one Sunday. And wow, I said, you know, Lord, man, you, you, that kid, he even blessed me. And now to see the things that he's doing throughout the church, I see that he's not as shy as much anymore. He's not as fearful anymore. Now I see him even helping me out and engaging our teens and actually interviewing our kids through our inner circle. So that has blessed my heart. I know that, you know, I may not be able to be great in everything, but if, as long as I can be good at everything, and I teach, I tell my uh, teens this, you don't have to be great in everything. Just be good at what you do. Amen. It's interesting because today, uh, for this broadcast and this live stream tonight, uh, two of your young men, Ryan is upstairs in the booth. I believe he's doing sound. And your other young man, Jonathan, he's up directing today. And these two guys switch back and forth between audio and directing. And they're handling everything. They set up the cameras and everything else. These young people today, man, they got it. They know what's going on. And, and, and that speaks, and it all starts from home. It all starts from home. Um, and the reason why I say that is that um, our responsibility as parents um, is to um, teach our kids. Uh, I believe that Sue and, um, and, and uh, Joe. Joe has done a great job, not just with Jonathan, also with um, Josh. Josh. Uh, Josh, I, even his brother, I had him when he was in youth. And man, I, he when he comes and has a second part and plays and sings, how he blesses my heart to see that young man now develop to where he is and, not, and also Jonathan where now he's plugged in and doing the work of the Lord right here in our sanctuary. And it um, and, 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 and may not be always up front, but all you don't understand the hard work it takes in the back scenes to make sure the services run smooth for our worship pastor and our pastor to bring the word every Sunday morning. Amen. Why don't we, because uh, we're coming to an end of tonight, why don't you pray for all the teens, okay? Father, we just come to you, Lord. Father, we lift your name up high. Father, Lord, I pray for every teen right now, Father, Lord, not just here in our church, but, Father, I pray for all around the world, Father, Lord. Father, Lord, that they will encounter a personal relationship with you, Lord. Father, Lord, that we cast out any fear, any doubt, any anxiety, any depression, any of these strongholds that have been trying to captivate our, our, our youth, yes. Father Lord. Father, I, in the name of Jesus, by your stripes, Father Lord, we cast these strongholds out, Father Lord. Father, these are your children, Father, and they belong to you. Father, I pray for all the parents, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord, that you would give them the wisdom, the understanding, and knowledge that they need, Father Lord, to bring up, Father Lord, warriors of Christ, Father Lord. Yes, they are warriors, and they will continue, Father Lord, to serve you and love you, even after their teenage years, into their young adulthood, until they become adults, Father. So, Father, I just pray this and believe this in your precious name. Amen. Amen. I thought in that prayer there you were going to say, even when they become old men. Oh. <laughs> but you didn't. It was great having you with us today. Thank you, Pastor. And I know you enjoyed it today. I know you were blessed today. If you're a young person out there, don't, don't despise small beginnings. You may be young, but you're powerful. You have the same Holy Spirit. You have the same power in you that we have in us as adults. So whatever you do, don't throw that away. Let God be glorified through your life.
I want to thank you all for watching us tonight. Special thanks to all of our New Life family. Your support has made all these broadcasts possible. And we're going to ask you, please don't stop. If you want to give your tithes and your offerings, you can do it one of two ways right now. You can send your check in, as many of you have. You can send it to New Life Church. Post Office Box 700, Millville, New Jersey, 08332. Or you can go right to our website, www.newlifeoutreach.org, and press the Donate button. That will take you through the process, and you'll be able to give your tithes electronically, and it'll save yourself a stamp. Until we see you the next time, I want you to know that you are blessed. And if you have not made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, now's the time to be super blessed. So if you're home right now and you've never made Christ the Lord and Savior of your life, I want you to pause just this moment and I want you to say, Jesus, be the Lord of my life. I need you more than anything. I need you to walk with me and talk with me. Guide me and direct me. And as you do that for me, I will serve you and follow you because today I receive Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as my personal Lord and Savior. I ask that in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now, if you've done that, please make sure you tell somebody. Tell them that you accepted Christ and then when you've told them, you can tell us. You can do that in the comments below here on Facebook or you can go to our website at newlifeoutreach.org and click on the Contact Us button. And once you do that, we'll get the response and we'll be in contact with you. Until we see you again on our next Wednesday night anointed broadcast service. God bless you and good night.